What's up guys, Rudy here and welcome to Let's Play Stellaris Anarchy in the USK. I hope you are ready to have some fun because I am ready to deliver it. So we are here on the front lines. We just conquered Frippet along with uh, Pansava Viba Filav and our fleet is paused in complete and utter chaos. They're uh, just a jumble of ships that are probably all going to collide and destroy themselves. Or maybe... Maybe they'll just perfectly get back in the formation without any pain whatsoever, which is good. I'm happy about that. And I think our war with the Kemplar worlds will be fairly easy. Uh, we've already conquered some of the planets. We, we're trying to liberate these three systems, and I think we're going to succeed. Um, so... Where is Strike Force Gladiator going? Oh, they're just sitting and repairing. I think Strike Force Gladiator can remain in the Xerox system because I'm actually sending a construction ship to build a wormhole station. But I will send Strike Force Hellstorm to the Bella V system. Oh, uh, it looks like the enemy is in Duix. I wonder if I could catch him and destroy them. Let's see. No, they're gone. Alright, let's skip to the map and send Strike Force Hellstorm to Bella V like we were originally planning. What are they saying? Alright, we've arrived in Bella V, and we're just going to destroy... Oh, they don't even have a spaceport here? I can just, uh... Oh, there's my allies. I love it when my allies help. They got the purple lasers. Alright, keep up the good work. So, we're... We are at Kafev. We're bombing Kafev, the home world of the Kafavads. They've been under the yoke of the combined Kemplar worlds for hundreds of years. Well... Yeah, probably about 100 years by now. And we're going to liberate them, and... Well, hopefully we'll eventually integrate them into our own empire. So let's send this transport fleet and just land the armies. Station under attack. I think they should be good. Alright, we have a station under attack. Alright, what system is this? That's a... Terim? So I can send Strike Force Gladiator, I think, to deal with that. And I have my construction ship in Zarak. System survey. Okay, complete. yeah. I'm building my uh, wormhole station. Oh, look, that looks like it's done. Perfect. Well, I'm not going to stop there. I'll also build a wormhole station in Bellevue. So their planetary defenses are almost down. Hitting it with a number of nuclear bombs, I mean... There must be some kind of futuristic weapons, uh, keeping the biosphere relatively intact while we take out the planetary defenses. No, just targeted, targeted strikes. Nothing too, uh, devastating. Okay, so... I'm at the tier room system and the enemy fleet has so... fiendishly escaped. So, I mean, these are the only two systems with which they can enter my my space, because they, they're using a hyperspace lanes. In fact, I'm going to build a wormhole station here. I should have built a wormhole station here a long time ago. But I'm going to have to send a uh, Strike Force Gladiator back into the fray. And I have to make sure that they can't... So I'm just going to go right to Xerox, because then from there, now that I have a wormhole station, I can strike any of the systems uh, that I might need to. Research complete. And so where is my transport fleet? Oh, <clears throat> my armies have landed on Kafev, and uh, we are handily defeating them. Oh, and nice, new research. I love picking new research. So we got the Proton Torpedo. Ooh, what's this? Zro Distillation? It reveals Zro? I've never seen this before. But Neutron Torpedoes are kind of... Um, something I would like. Well, I'll probably see 
neutron torpedoes again, but this is a rare technology, so I should probably go for it. An extremely rare aerosol of exotic particles, it has been deposited on a number of worlds through meteor impacts, but its true origin is a mystery. If ingested by psionically gifted individuals, Ro acts as a very potent and addictive drug that enhances psi abilities. I mean, this wouldn't happen to only be found on one on one planet, would it? Plus 20% warp speed. Does that affect... I wonder, I wonder if that affects uh, wormhole stuff. You know, I'm just... Uh, I'm just gonna go for the neutron torpedoes. And I will be happy with that. Resource storage is full. Enemy planet secured. All right, and we've secured another enemy planet. There is the enemy fleet of 6,000 power. So I should be able to grab them now. See, I got the wormhole station, so I can just hop right over. Uh, I'm building a wormhole station in Bella V. I hope that's gonna be done soon. Come on. It's only 31%. Yes, we got them. They were just right there. Another grand victory. Oh, so what planet is this? Oh, this is another planet I need to capture. We have unemployment. Okay, the Helven states have made peace with the combined Kemplar worlds. I wonder... Neural Network Administration? What? I wonder what the... Oh my god. The deal... So it looks like, uh... The Helven state has heated a ton of planets. See, this is what I was afraid of happening. Thankfully, I'm on the offensive now. I mean, I... The Kemplar worlds may have won this particular war with the Helven state, but I was able to get in there and do some damage. Oh, and it looks like my integration is complete. Oh yeah, no wonder I have 8 out of 5. I used to be 6 out of 5, but now I'm 8 out of 5 because I finished integrating uh, Eptropin and Fiddleum into my empire. So I need to figure out what I'm doing with these planets. Uh, Oh, so we, they're unhappy. And they're unemployed. Why are they unemployed? They should have job. This is building. They have building to work. I guess the AI deactivated all these buildings because they did not have enough energy. But we will reactivate them and watch our research numbers increase. And uh, we can deal with the energy crisis. We, we are smart. We know how to deal with things like that. Robot? I don't need a robot there. Disassemble. Alright, so here we're going to build a hyper-entertainment farm. We're going to bring them entertainment. And we should upgrade all these power plants. Well, I'm so happy that I've integrated these people into my empire. We're just gonna get stronger. And let's, uh, yeah, boost up the farm, make sure they have plenty of food. What is, oh, seven food for the, uh, planetary capital? Yeah. And what is this? A frontier clinic. Okay. And I think that's good. Then there's, uh, so that was Bukral. We have Karaji. This planet basically is, uh, completely neglected. But it's okay, I'm here to take care of you. So I'm eventually going to put this planet into a sector, probably. Um, well, we'll need a power plant. Minerals? I am, I'm fine with minerals. I don't need any more minerals. Uh, we'll build a... Let's see, hydroponic farm. There's a lot of work to do. And they can work a power plant. Like, uh, you know... I need to put... I... Mm, I gotta put some of these systems in the sectors eventually, but I also wanna make sure I get the systems nice and well developed beforehand. Let's see, they can use some, uh, science lab. I mean, I've, I have plenty of minerals right now, but I still need to, 
I can't completely neglect minerals. They have a Batharian power plant. Oh, they must be... So I think I gained a Batharian stone, but then I'm using it up on this power plant. And they are just very not pleased. But once the war is over, they'll be they'll be right happy again. And do you guys have enough food? Are you, are you getting enough to eat? Oh, we can upgrade the spaceport. Nice. And then we can build a... We can build a an orbital hydroponic farm if we need to. So let's replace this mineral with uh, another research lab. That should be good. And I'm probably going to keep the system to myself because it's got three planets in it. Very good use of a, a core system. Oh ho, this is a nice looking planet. Alright, first things first. This is a, a bio lab. We will activate it. So let's upgrade all of our power plants. And they have plenty of food. That should be good. And, of course, we'll... Yeah, these spaceports need upgrades. Great. Our, our new... Our new worlds are integrating nicely into the Empire. Very nice. Beautiful. Well, with that in mind, I should probably put new air hard into a sector. In the Marcaz system. Let's quickly do that. Uh, where is it? So... Let's, uh, upgrade some of these buildings. So, I mean, they, they have all the buildings I think they're going to need. Uh, I trust that the Sector AI will upgrade them more as they need to. What is this uh, yellow square here? I don't know what that means. Oh, yeah, but I'll add them to the Kastaba Prime sector now. So, Kastaba... The sector is at minus three energy. Let's just add Marcas to it. That should be fine. Now they're at... Uh, net energy, and that should only get better as uh, my planet populates with the uh, the Kafavads. Uh, new Air Hard and Marcas populates with more population and utilizes my power plants. Okay, let's uh, get back to our war and try and end it as efficiently as possible. Right, so we are bombing Fashao. And we'll need to... Okay, I think uh, this army could do. Hostile fleet engaged. Uh, where is this happening? Oh, they're, they're engaging my, uh, my transport fleet. I could probably send a... I need to the... I need to save them. So Strike Force Gladiator is occupied, but... Thanks to my new wormhole station, I could jump directly from Bella V to Zerak and hopefully save them. Come on, Claws of Ivory. You can do it. System survey complete. What is happening? Oh, my allies Hostile are... Fleet engaged. My allies came in to try and save me, but they arrived a bit too late. I can retreat, though. Hostile <laughs> fleet engaged. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Okay. So my transport fleet is here. Just enter orbit for now. Hostile fleet engaged. And Strike Force Hellstorm is fighting another enemy. They're fighting the six murder. Oh, this looks like a big one. Well, not not too big. Situation log updated. Very good. And are they on their way? Don't land. Come here. They got one, two, two jumps to do. Ay ay ay, this is taking forever. Well, I think we've pretty much taken out most of their fleet, but we can grab Strike Force Firestorm and maybe send them out to do some raiding. Grab us some more war score. Like we can uh let's hit a uh, Kunbar. Alright, we got we sighted an enemy fleet here. What is it? It is a Corvette, so that could cause some damage. Uh, I could definitely take out my construction ship, that's for sure. But uh, we can travel... Yeah, let's send the USK Protector here to build another wormhole station. So they should be able to warp out of there, or wormhole out. They should be able to hole out, tunnel through space, and all that jazz. Okay, so Strike Force, Hellstorm. Or no, uh... Okay, so the transport fleet has arrived. Oh, my allies are going to help out. Perfect. Then I can save my ground forces for something else. 
There goes the allies. Hostile fleet engaged. System survey complete. Oh, we encountered a new civilization. Primitive aliens. Uh, early metalworking. And that was Let's Play Stellaris Anarchy in the USK. Hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching.